biggest comeback of 2018 goes to... Well, you probably could have guessed it's gonna be the Transformers given you know what video you clicked on. So let's talk about it. as well as from the US government. So this prequel soft reboot of the Transformers franchise takes things in a very different direction as well as to a different time, the 1980s. But the real question, is it any good? Tell me what you thought down below in the comments section. Is this more Michael Bay spectacle over substance or is there more than meets the eye? Tell me what you thought about it down below. With that said, let's get started talking about the good. Right off the bat, one of the best things about this film is that it's easily the most focused film of the entire franchise. The Michael Bay films had a tendency to have so many plot lines going on, so many different characters and big gigantic action sequences that you didn't really know what you were supposed to pay attention to, what mattered, and none of the characters or plot lines really got fleshed out. This film has a much more focused storyline about very specific characters, and so it really gets to dive in deep into what's going on. You care about the small things as well as the big things because you care about the characters at the center of the story. And because it's more focused, it's also a return to classic storytelling. It's all about characters who need to go on this journey. There's something about them that's not quite right, and so they go on this fantastical adventure throughout this film, and by the end of it, it resolves their very normal, human, relatable struggles. Calling back to some classic movies, Elliot needed E.T. in the movie E.T. Daniel LaRusso needed Mr. Miyagi in The Karate Kid and Charlie in this film needed Bumblebee. In each of them, there's a character that has a very relatable struggle where they're not connecting with the people around them quite right, and there's something broken about them, and the adventure brings them to who they're supposed to be. And the reason this works is because this movie easily has the most relatable and human characters of the entire Transformers franchise. You could strip away the robots and the spectacle and John Cena, and you still have an interesting story about a girl who's struggling with her past who can't connect with her mother and is dealing with all sorts of trouble with her peers. But because we are in a Transformers movie, the character that helps her on this journey to discover her place in this world does happen to be an alien robot. With that in mind, let's move on to the action. And this movie is the smallest scale of any of the Transformers movies, and it's probably a good thing. Because the story is so focused and you care about the characters, when you have an action sequence, you know who each of the Transformers are and you know who each of the humans are inside of the battle. So you care what happens to them. You understand the motives of the good guys, the bad guys, the army, the girl, Decepticons, all of it, and you you know what they're trying to do, so it has dramatic tension as well as just spectacle and action inside of it. And so it makes for a more satisfying conclusion to action sequences when one of our Transformers or when Bumblebee's taken down or the girl's knocked down or John Cena gets hit, you care about it. The movie also has a pretty good sense of humor. You have some of the stuff you see in the trailer of Bumblebee trying to fit in and hide. There's a little bit more physical comedy. There's a little bit of wit in a little bit of the dialogue at certain points in time but just they're sprinkled throughout it, a nice sense of humor that fits the movie that they're making. Forced jokes most of the time, it fits the characters and the scenarios that they're in. But probably the biggest compliment that I can give this movie is that it demonstrates what was missing from the previous Transformers movies. Now, I enjoy some of the previous films, but there was motion to it. This is the movie that gives them the template that shows how you can have the spectacle while still having characters that you care about in drawing out real human emotions throughout all of it with real character arcs. From there, let's move on to the mixed aspects of the film. And the big thing that comes to mind is the John Cena character. It seemed like they weren't quite sure what to do with him. In certain sequences, he's the laughy, jokey guy. Other times, he's the military guy that only sees red. And then uh, in a couple sequences, it's almost like he's breaking the fourth wall in the way he's commenting on the Decepticons. I don't necessarily blame John Cena. John Cena did the thing that John Cena does well. He can be kind of funny and he can be the guy that looks really scary and intimidating. I just wish that they could have kind of balanced him out a little bit more. From there, let's move on to the negative. I don't have any big criticisms of this film, but because they went for such classic storytelling, some of it can feel familiar. A lot of people are referring to it as E.T. except with Transformers or Iron Giant with Bumblebee. And those are very fair comparisons. There's certainly plot similarities, characters that kind of overlap and their functionality inside of the story. And along the same lines, some of the screenwriting tricks and character arc techniques that they used 
telegraphed a few moves for me. So there were some plot things established in the first act of the film that I went, I bet that's gonna play back into the story. And then it plays a little bit back and went, oh, okay, I know exactly where this is going in the third act. And I was correct. Like I said, these aren't big criticisms of the film, but it's to say that this isn't like the most groundbreaking blockbuster of all time. No, it's a very solid adventure with some very human emotions in a movie that has some familiar plot elements to it. As for this movie, I will give it a B plus and an 8.5 out of 10. Be sure to tell me what you thought about this movie down below in the comment section. Also come back on Sunday for my ranking of all of the live action Transformers movies. If you enjoyed this review, you will enjoy that video. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.